Sarpana and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to show you how to convert a skirt into a belt sleeve dress. For this DIY, I have used a lining fabric, but it is totally optional if your skirt is thick enough. So let's get started. Here I have seam ripped the elastic band and removed the elastic. I have also seam ripped the side seams and have turned the skirt inside out. Now I will fold the skirt into half and I will fold and place a loose top on the skirt such that the folded edges coincide. And then I will mark the outline of the top while leaving 2 cm for seam allowance. I will extend the length further till the length I want for my dress. If you want, you can use any of your dress or kurti as reference to how long you want your dress to be. I am leaving approximately 6 to 7 inches at the bottom which I will use for the belt sleeves. Here you can see I have cut out the outline for the dress and I have also cut out the lining cloth in the similar manner. Then I will separate the two pieces of the dress. Then I will place the lining cloth on the wrong side of the cloth. Let this be the front side of the dress. So I will again fold it into half and mark and cut the front neckline of the dress. You can use the neckline of any top as a reference and make sure to leave 1 to 2 cm for hemming. If you want, you can also cut the back neckline but I prefer to keep it as it is and then join the lining cloth with the main cloth at the edges so that it is easier to work with. Here you can see I have joined the lining cloth to the main cloth. Now I will place the back part of the dress on the front part such that their good sides are facing each other and then stitch at the sides as shown. This is how the dress will look like once it is stitched. I have hemmed the front and back neckline as well as the bottom of the dress. If you want you can stop here and hem the sleeves as well. To make the strips for the front neckline, I am taking approximately 1 inch wide strip of fabric and then I will apply fabric glue on one side and then fold down the edge. Then I will again apply glue on the other edge and fold it down as well. If you want, you can stitch it in the similar manner as well. And your straps are ready. I have made two such strips and I will place it along the neckline in a crisscross pattern. And then I will glue it to the inside of the neckline using some fabric glue. I am hand stitching the strips to the neckline for some extra strength. We will use one of the 6 inch fabric pieces to make the sleeves and the other fabric piece to make the bell part of sleeve. Here I am folding one of the fabric piece into half and cutting it to make two sleeves. I will fold one of the fabric into half and place a loose sleeve on it and then I will mark the outline leaving 1 cm seam allowance. Make sure that the part of sleeve which will be attached to the dress is in a S shape. Now use this sleeve to trace and cut the other sleeve. To attach the sleeve to the dress, turn the dress inside out. Now turn the sleeve to its good side and place it inside the dress such that its peak is coinciding with the top of the sleeve of the dress. And then pin it along and stitch it. Now to make the bell part of the sleeve, take the other 6 inch fabric piece and fold it such that the good sides are facing each other and then stitch at the side and also give a simple straight stitch at the top and make sure that it is the longest straight stitch of your machine so that it is easier to pull to make frills for the bell part. Make sure to leave some excess thread at the end which we can pull to make frills. Now place the bell part near the main sleeves. 
and then gather the bell part by pulling the string to fit the circumference of the main sleeve. Now flip the bell part inside out and place the sleeve inside it so that the good side and seam are together. And pin them together at different locations while distributing the frills evenly. And then stitch them together using a zigzag stitch. Here you can see I have joined them using a zigzag stitch. And don't forget to hem the edge of the bell part. And your bell sleeved dress with crisscross neckline is ready. Hey, hope you guys like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and do comment down below. If you haven't, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking my face ID right here. You can watch my previous video over here. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The link is in the description box. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.